20% of the babies born here in the United States have some kind of ear deformity. Parents often think the condition will fix itself as the child grows, but it doesn't. Spock ears, Dumbo ears, these kinds of cruel words can damage a child's self-esteem. Well, a local doctor now has a remedy that does not require surgery. Jennifer Waugh spoke with him and with a mother who was worried her daughter would be teased as she got older. Let's look at the next page. What's on the next one? <gasps> Holly Craven was relieved when both of her daughters were born healthy, so she didn't think much of it when she noticed her newborn Logan's ear. We noticed it when she was first born. Um, it was just a little pinched up at the top, a little pointy on one side, and um, a couple little ripples in the cartilage. This is what it looked like. Holly assumed it would straighten out as her daughter got older, until she saw her pediatrician, who then referred her to a specialist. Turns out this would not fix itself without help. We were concerned about bullying. I mean, you, nev you never want your kid to have any you know, disadvantage no matter how small or, and kids can be cruel. The mold has a shell um, and it has a cover to it and this is what is placed around the ears. Dr. Siswata Roy is a pediatric surgeon who specializes in facial deformities, showing us a mold that he offers as treatment to fix misshapen ears like Logan's and it does not require surgery. It's really customizing a series of molds that allows us to recontour the shape and the position of the ears to which we, we, we want. Demonstrating how the mold can be fitted around a baby's deformed ear to help it right itself. We shave the hair around the ear because you cannot put an adhesive structure over the hair. And every two weeks we have to change the mold. Logan wore her mold for about five and a half weeks. Look at the difference. This is the before, now after the mold was removed. Dr. Roy says the key to success is treating it early. If we're going to do this and really try to get 90% success, we have to do it in the first three to four weeks of life. Here are some other before and after pictures of babies born with misshapen ears who received treatment using the ear well system molds. Holly is relieved, knowing when her daughter grows up and goes to school, her ear will not make her the target of cruel comments. And she's spreading the word. Since Logan got hers on, we've actually had a couple friends who have also had them put on their child, too. Now keep in mind, if you wait too long, surgery is often required to fix misshapen or deformed ears. Dr. Roy will join us tomorrow morning on The Morning Show at 815 to show us the molds, how they're fitted, and explain why breastfed babies can make a difference when it comes to how early the condition can be fixed. And of course, to learn more about the Earwell system, you can go to newsforjacks.com and find this story under the health page. Jennifer Waugh, Channel 4, The Local Station.